All right, how are you doing today? Today we're taking a look at Logic Pro and ReStem. We're gonna use the stem splitter in Logic Pro, and then we're gonna use ReStem to isolate the drum tracks even further. Now, don't you wish Logic Pro already had this? Do you think they'll add it in the future? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, we'll have to rely on a third-party plugin. So this used to be called ReBeat. They made the ch name change to it, and now there's two versions available for it but I'm using the pro version here and it's still called Rebeat on my computer because I haven't updated the software yet. But anyways, so this is one of my songs. I got the audio here with the video actually too. And we'll just play it for a second here. Ripping on my bars, whatever it was, all the things you did wasn't for love. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is split these stems into different stems. So they'll come over to functions here, stem splitter. We've got the vocals, drums, bass, and other. So we'll split those up. Then the main track is muted. So then we'll just have them all split like this. And it sounds like this. So there we go. And here's the drum track. So we'll come on here and we'll put re-drum on here, or re-beat, re-stem as it's now called. Let me get this video out of the way here. So this is the pro version and what we wanna do is we wanna hit record and we're gonna start from the beginning of the track. We're gonna play the whole song all the way through. Just the drum track that we got here. So while that's doing that, we'll take a look at the ReStem core version and the pro version. So in the pro version, obviously we can do more. We have the look ahead noise gate. We have the transient shaper. We have the drumagog drum replacer. We have mini output on kick and snare. We have uh, plugin formats, VST3 audio unit and AX, AX, AAX. I'm not sure why the core version wouldn't have that. There's a standalone version with both and local processing. So the core version is only a standalone version. There is no plugin with the core version. All right, stop recording. Then it's gonna process it here. So it will take some time. Obviously it's gonna take however long your song is, plus this little extra amount of time here to do its thing and split everything up. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of the song and then we'll play the whole song. Now, in the plugin, we have the mute, solo, all this stuff, the gate, the shaper, drum replacement. And this is still on the stereo track of the drums and we're gonna export these in a second. I just wanna show you some things that we can do here. Let's go back to this part of the song. All the things you did as you can see, I can solo the kick, solo the snare, and then we have Drumagog here where we can select a sample and replace the kick drum sample with the sample. So that's pretty cool as well. If you want to do that for some drum replacement, just push it enable and then select your sample. And they have a bunch of kicks in here for example this one All the things you did wasn't for love. little warmer if you will not as punchy let's just meet the drums here and we have a blend control a midi out so there's all kinds of things you can do with the pro version that you can't do with the the core version, but I'm gonna disable that now. I just wanted to show you that. We have the transient shaper here as well. Get more out of your kicks and snares. And we have the noise gate in case if there's, you know, some extra. But for now, let's just go to this little icon down here, the settings, show stems, And then we're just gonna take all these, drag them into Logic. Let's 
start at the beginning of the track. Create new tracks. And now I have all the drum tracks here. And of course we can uh, put them in a track stack. Command Shift D, something stack. And now we have the drums here all isolated. And we can just mute this. And then we have this. Caught up in my pot. Were you ever gonna stop? Receipts up. So it doesn't sound any different. <laughs> it sounds pretty good. And, but then we have the isolated drum tracks here. Now, these are split from, originally split from the logic uh, file. If you have the session, you could even probably get a better split of them as well, because you just have the stereo drum tracks. But I wanted to show you the power of all this stuff mixed together if you don't have the individual drum tracks. So very, very nice. And of course, this works great. The re um, stem for the drums works great. If you have some Apple loops, perhaps maybe some Apple drum loops that you're using in your project that you want to split up some of the audio ones. We can do that as well. Now, of course, it's going to take a less time because it's just that one sample here. So we can redrum that as well. Restem, sorry. Maybe we want to change the bass drum. Make an acoustic bass drum. Change the snare. Or whatever you want to do with it. And the replacement's only for the kick and snare, as you can see here. So pretty cool. Let me know what you think. We also have a resizable screen here with the plugin. So let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below. Check out my other videos floating around the screen here. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on other platforms, I'll put some links in the post for other videos and stuff like that. So that is all for now. I will talk to you soon.